Good morning, this is Erika from QXP Shop. And I'm getting ready this morning to go to the Fiestas Patrias Parade. So I am here recording a video of getting ready. So um, not doing any makeup tutorial, not like that. I'm just chit-chatting with you guys while I'm just getting ready for this event. I'm actually getting dressed up in my Vasquinha and the Montuna skirt. So I'm excited because I don't because I don't dance in, in any of those performances and stuff like that. My daughter used to. So I just get ready. Like I don't have one of my own really. Well, I have my own Vasquinha, but I don't have my own skirt and all that, so I'm borrowing hers. So I don't get to dress up fully um, for events like that, so I'm excited. And uh, of course, I'm representing Panama over there, so um, getting my primer on because I want this makeup to last. So I, I will say I am trying out this new, for me it's new, this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation and I really like this thing. And I was skeptical at first of buying it, I was checking out different like reviews on, on YouTube, um, other uh, people who do beauty uh, videos to see and what really 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 sold me on getting it was one of my high school friends, she did a video online about uh, her trying it on and what the results were for her and she really liked it and so she kind of sold me on that so we'll put her description, her link down in the description below so you guys can check out her channel, her makeup tutorials and all that and so um but yeah I think my, let's see what color is this one, I use honey and the cool thing I like about this is <clears throat> I have a hard time finding foundations for me. Well, not really the color. It's kind of because I'm like really on the cool side as far as my skin tone goes, the undertones. And so a lot of times these foundations will either make me look red or like really, really, really yellow something. I don't know. It's just weird. But this one, I really like that they did the undertones too. And so, and also, a lot of times, I feel like when I pick uh, foundations, when there's brands that don't really like do a whole lot for women of color, it's like my color is usually like really, really, really close to the pale side. And it's kind of weird because it's like for me, I don't feel like I'm that light and so I end up choosing like it's kind of hard for me to choose because I'm looking at it and I'm like okay so I should be a little bit of a darker side but it ends up looking like it's like the olive skin tone I, I guess I don't, I don't know I'm not sure so I'm glad I found this one and it really lasts all day I really love it so thank you shout out to Mina Ray I really like um, that you did that video tutorial so the video review on it so thank you <laughs> but um so i'm excited for this parade because i really wanted to go this year to the panamanian parade in new york but i'm not gonna be able to this year so wish i could but um and i missed the one that they had in august last month because i was getting ready to to sell at the Caribbean Festival, so I had a lot going on, so I wasn't really able to participate in that parade, but we did last year. And the last time, um, I had my grandma with me, and so she was so cute. Um, I'll have to share that video another day, but it's, it, <laughs> she was shouting out to Jaime. Jaime, Jaime! And she watches him every day, and on uh, Unuicio and all that, it was too cute. <laughs> so, I love my grandma. But, um, so I'm excited about this one. I've never been there and I've never been to this particular parade. So this is way out in Mill Creek. And Mill Creek, I think it's like just past Seattle. And so for me, just driving to Seattle is like an hour, about an hour away. 
And so I usually give myself two hours just in case of traffic being nasty. But we'll see how this goes. Never been out there, so I'll get to see what Mill Creek looks like. But I'll be recording so you'll get to see the event um, while I'm out there. And I have some more future video ideas. One of them is getting ready to put on thin black in your hair. And so one of the things that I want to do for us women who have natural hair, tying this down, like making the part and putting all this hair down, slicking it down, because a lot of times when I watch videos of people putting on them like as a course, they don't have natural thick hair. And so it's like, I uh, just can't just, you know, put it down and uh, that's it. No, I gotta like really slick it down. So I wanted to do a video on that later on. Um, Trying not to step on my dog right here. He's in the bathroom with me, so. <laughs> he follows me everywhere. I'll show you a video of him a little later. So, if you don't know him by now, that is Chess down there. So, <laughs> my little Papillon shadow. Um. So, on future videos too, I will be showing how to make them like this is what I want to do for you guys and uh, I will be posting that up later on for you guys to see and um, check it out. I know this looks funny but this is my little contouring right now. Not sure if it's actually gonna rain today. Um, it rained last night, so yeah, this is Washington. So not a fan of the state, if you don't know by now. Um, I love the summers here, but minus the fires. Um, but I really. Like, I love the summers here because it's really beautiful. It's really green here. But this is Western Washington that I'm at. So it's like when I go over to visit my friend in Eastern Washington, it's dry and barely any trees over there. It's like a little bit, so it's kind of definitely different. It looks almost more like a desert compared to this side. We get more rain, which doesn't make it past the mountains for the most part. So that's why they're dry on that side but it makes it greener on this side, but at the same time, it's like, when I first got here, I was about, I think about 10 years old, and my dad, he was in the army at the time, and we got stationed here, right after the, the Just Cause Because War in Panama. And um, so, it was February when we got here, and so I was like, really we need to be here it was freezing it was raining and in, in Panama it is summertime in February so um, that was not cool not cool at all but to give you guys an update on what's going on in our shop, we're getting ready to uh, get new items up. We are working on our bow ties and we're working on our hair ties and headbands. So we will have those up pretty soon. I don't know, I'm looking crazy right now, but I'm trying to help control my oily skin. I'm taking over later, so. But there's a lot of like YouTube uh, beauty gurus that are watch on there, so get a lot of um, inspirations from them, like how to do makeup better. So I'm learning, I'm still learning. <laughs> I am not an expert at all. I am not an expert at all. But definitely having fun with it. 
But yeah, we will be getting those up pretty soon, getting ready for the Christmas holidays, and we will be having our a few of our hair bows in the um, like Amazon uh, fulfilled by Amazon, and so you'll be able to get uh, free shipping from there once we get a few of our hair bows up. So let us know which flag you want the most, because we're gonna start out with six of them. So six different countries and uh, get those in there getting ready for the Christmas holiday so I'm not gonna do too much of a heavy I don't do a heavy eyeshadow color at all I just want to keep it simple I'm gonna be wearing white on top so just kind of go with it from there I forgot to grab my extra Thing it feels like I gotta be careful of with these. Not to look too pale. But no, like I'm more on the cool tone. And so my grandma made fun of me because when I went back to visit one time, she uh she told me that I was looking pretty pale and I need to basically get some time of sense. So uh yeah. Kind of dark over there, not too dark, but um, I get a kind of a tan down there, and I got a weird tan on my feet right now, but. I'm just curious what you guys do to get ready for events um, when you go participate in like cultural events and go out and see, like either if you're a performer or if you just go out to go watch. Um, I, one of the things I've always loved is like when we got here to Washington, we didn't know, like at the time there wasn't any kind of any groups to go watch the performances of. And I think not until my daughter was about, she was about four, four or five years old or something, I think four. And my son, he was not even a year old. They had the first, uh, the Las Mulas Panamanian group. They, they had their for, first performance at the time. And so I went with my mom to go watch that. And it was pretty cool. And um, since then they've been doing it yearly. I'm not sure what year they're on now. Like they do a show annually. And there's also a second Panamanian group, which is the one I'm meeting up here at the event. It's the, uh, Panama Folklore Seattle. So you will see them in my video. And I'll put a link down to their Facebook page if you want to follow them, if you want to look for a group to participate in, or go or if you just want to go watch the performance, they they're pretty pretty cool. Group. Fun to be around. And they love what they do. And so so definitely check them out. One of the things I love about them is I definitely feel like part of the family. Just getting my eyeshadow on. Like I said, I'm just going to keep it kind of simple. I don't want to put too much dark colors on here. Just showcasing all the... I don't know if you can see it, but I don't want to put too much on there, but just keeping it kind of light. So one of my favorite, um, my favorite foundation, actually, one of my favorite eyeshadow is from CoverGirl. It is so, I don't know if you can see that busted up, but I just, I have not been able to find the same color anywhere else that wasn't just like the same consistency, the same, like not too glittery, but not too like just gray. I like this like it's silver, slightly sparkly. Um, and I don't know, they just don't sell it anymore. And it's called the Eye Enhancers. 
436. I'm not sure. Let's see what the cover says. I kind of don't want to turn it too much. But, I don't know. It is. I guess I'll use it until it's like completely gone. I love this color. So I know like when um, I've watched some people do like different like eyeshadows for people doing like uh, putting on poilletas and all that. Um, different events and stuff like that. And so they use a little bit like more dramatic colors and stuff like that. I'm not used to that, but I would like to try it one day. I'm not, I, I don't wear super bright eyeshadow colors. Um, I've seen a lot of women do it and it looks really cool, but it's kind of intimidating to me, so I haven't really tried it so much. But I would like to try it one day. Um, especially like to match more the color of the actual bouillette itself. Um, next time I go to Panama, I'm going to try and see if I can get one that's more sized for me. And my favorite color, my favorite color combination is, I love the blue floral pattern with the red pom-pom. That's the one I really want. Now the custom made Puyas are, are super expensive. They're like about a thousand up. Um, I would love to own one of those one day, but I don't know. So I'm actually going to finish the rest of my eye makeup, my eyeliner and um, mascara off camera because I got to get a little closer to the mirror. And the way I'm set up in this bathroom is not enough space to bring this like that way. So uh, let me just get that done. Okay, so I have my eye makeup done. So I'm going to get ready and get dressed and I will be right back. So I'm back and I'm finishing up getting ready with got my, my basquinha on. The cool thing about this one is I found this one in Chite. Um, when I was walking around with my aunt, we were looking for um, things for me to buy so I could bring back uh, for me, my daughter, my husband, and my son. And uh, But I really wanted to have my own basquinha because what well, my daughter has does not fit me because she's a lot skinnier than me. <laughs> so, and the thing about basquinha is it's like, you have to have one that just fits your body nice. And the cool thing was, when we walked in this tiendita, um, this one was just like right. It just fit right. And so, I really love it. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on my tebleque. So this one is one of the tapamonios. Um, let's see. Gotta get it adjusted a little bit, but since my bun is on the right, I will be putting that right here. And then I'm going to adjust it. And then I need to put a bobby pin right here to keep it kind of held in place. And one of my favorite necklaces. The one with a little fish. I've always loved this one ever since I was little. Um, I was thinking about wearing rosary ones, but I'll wear this one instead because this is always my favorite. I remember when I was little, I always thought it was like the coolest thing. And this necklace, that they made it to where it moves like a fish. It's really cool. I don't know if you can see that, but I love this necklace. if I want to wear a hat or not. The hat that goes with it, I might, but I might not. Um, and then I need the rest of the jewelry. So a friend of mine brought me this bracelet back, which I think is really cool. Um, it's really pretty. So this. So I'm wearing that. And I'll wear the earrings and stuff that match with this one. 
And it also came with a ring. I think it can fit my other finger. Yeah, this one has it to where it widens, so I'll wear it here. <laughs> and then earrings. Only thing that bugs me about this earring is where it's sitting at, and it doesn't like to turn. I see something. Oh, they put two different where they put it at. I will be fixing that. <laughs> so, let me get this one on. Then I'll fix the next one on. So yeah, I love these earrings. It's really cool. I'll put this one afterward because this one I need to fix first of where it's positioned. So I gotta go get my pluckers and all that. So, I'll get my lipstick on next. And then I'll show you the whole outfit once I'm done. I really like this color. This is a is Exaggerate by Ramel, the lip liner, and then I got a lipstick from Milani. It is not too red red, I like it. But it's rich, like it's kind of like a, a wine color. Maroon, a little bit reddish. And I also like to use this. I think the color on this one. So it's the Milani number 48 Tuscan Toast. And then I like to add a little bit of this one on top. It's so another Milani, it's called Rose Pen. Number 42. doesn't really change it much but I like it by itself it gives it more of a like kind of like a neutral uh, tone um, so yeah and then uh, the other thing I like to put on is my lip gloss because I me personally I don't one of the things I like to put on too is the lip gloss because I don't like matte matte lips lipstick look So yeah, so I'm ready to go and I will see you at the event and let me, before I get off here, let me show you the whole outfit and I'll show you my dog sleeping down here, lazy. So, so this is Chess being lazy right here next to me in the bathroom. Chess, look at me. Chess food. Lazy bumpkin. As you can see, he doesn't like cameras in his face. <laughs> Every time I have to take a picture of him, he just kind of, nah. nah. Right, Jasper? Sleepyhead. <laughs> Look at me, Jasper. Are you still giving me that face? <laughs> yeah. So I have the whole outfit on now, and so I decided to go ahead and just put the hat on, and I had to get my tembleque in there. I guess having thick hair makes it sometimes hard to get these things on, but I think I got it pretty well. <laughs> but here's the whole outfit I don't know if you can see. So I got my masquinha on. And I am wearing a purple skirt. So I will be seeing you guys at the uh, festival, uh, the parade, and then tomorrow I will be at the Hawaiian Aloha Festival. So stay tuned for that and the video of the parade as well. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Jezebel, look at me. This guy does not like the look of the camera.
one thing you got to get used to when you're wearing a typical Panamanian outfit or any folklore costume is you're going to get stared at and looked at all the time. But the cool thing is people are cool about it. So.